welcome to my channel this is me Fatima from Mopa Crochet uh, so today in this tutorial I'm gonna do with you this amazing backpack it's so easy going and it's beginner friendly it's only uh, uses only one type of a stitch which is single crochet so let's get started for this bag I will be using a size 8 millimeters crochet hook pair of scissor a measuring tape to measure the cord at the end and a thick weight yarn or number six weight yarn I'm using allies super lana maxi or you can substitute it with any other um, thick weight yarns super thick weight yarn um, it's a blend of 75% acrylic and 25% wool and uh, each skein contains 100 meters um, 100 meters of the yarn which is 109 yards I'm using the purple color and the off-white so let's get started begin with the bag I started with doing chain 4 so do your chain 4 and now I'm gonna uh, connect the chain 4 with a slip stitch into the first chain we did to form a circle or you can do a magic circle now we will do eight single crochet in the middle of the circle so this is one two and eight now we have done eight single crochet we will join with the first uh, we will join the first uh, stitch with a slip stitch all right now for round two I chained one you do you will chain one and you we will do two single crochet in each stitch all the way around so we will start with sorry two single crochet on each stitch this is one, two, one, two. All right, another one, two. Continue doing two single crochet on each stitch around and pause the video. We will meet at the end of round number two. All right, by the end of round two, you will end up with 16 stitches, six, 16 single crochet all the way around. Mm -hmm. Now you will join the round with a slip stitch into the first chain, in the, into the beginning chain that we did, the chain one we did, and that's it for round number two. Now for round number three, you're gonna do, what you will do is you will chain one, now you're gonna do a, a, one single crochet and two single crochet in the next stitch so one single crochet and two single crochet in the next stitch again I'm gonna do with you the repeat again one more time so one single crochet one single crochet and uh, two single crochet in the next stitch one two so again one single crochet and two single crochet in the next stitch pause the video and we will meet at the end of round number three now I'm at the end of round number three I will do one uh, I will do slip stitch into the chain one that we made what did in the beginning and that's it for round three uh, at the end of round three you will end up with 24 slip single crochets so uh, now we will start round number four 
for round four you will chain one and we will do one single crochet one single crochet and two single crochet in the same stitch so here's one single crochet one single crochet and two single crochet in the same stitch again one single crochet one single crochet and two single crochet in the same stitch pause the video and let's meet at the end of round number four all right now i'm done with round number four um you should end up with 32 stitches all the way around uh, at the end i did a slip knot a slip stitch here uh, in the first uh, in the chain one that we made in the beginning of the round now for round number five i'm gonna do a chain one now we will do one single th uh, three single crochet in the next three stitches then two single crochet in the next stitch so for round number uh, for now for round number five one single crochet one single crochet and one single crochet now three single crochets now we will do two single crochet in the next stitch one and two that will be the repeat for round number five three single crochet in the next three and two single crochet in the next stitch in the fourth stitch okay so pause the video and we will meet at the end of round number five now i'm at the end of round number five uh, i did my last two stitches in the same stitch now i'm gonna do a slip a slip stitch into the chain one space that in the beginning chain one that we made so that's our slip stitch and that's it for round number five for round number six you will do a chain one now you will do four single crochet in the next four stitches and two single crochet in the next stitch and that will be the repeat for round uh, for round number six so one two three and four now we will do two single crochet in the next stitch one and two so that will be the repeat for row num for round number six four single crochet and two single crochet in the next stitch pause the video and we will meet at the end of row number six all right now i'm at the end of round round number six and you should have by the end of round number six 48 single crochet now i'm gonna do a slip stitch into the beginning chain one that we made at the beginning of round number six so here's our chain one and we will do a slip stitch that's it now for round number seven you're gonna do chain one and you will do five single crochet in the next five stitches and two single crochet in the next stitch that will be the repeat for round number seven so i'm gonna do one two three four five and two single crochet in the next stitch one two so that will be the repeat for round number seven pause the video and finish your stitches and let's meet at the end at, i'm now at the end of raw round number seven i'm gonna do a slip stitch into the first in the chain one that we made in the beginning that's our slip stitch and that's the end of uh, of uh, round number seven for round number eight you will do you will chain one and you will do uh, 
six single crochet in the next six stitches so one single crochet in each in each next six stitches so here is one two three four five and six now two single crochet in the next stitch one two so this one this will be the repeat for row number eight six single crochet in the next six stitches and two single crochet in the next stitch finish this round and let's meet at the end now i'm at the end of round number eight um i'm gonna do a slip stitch into the chain one that we did in the big no it's correct now we will chain one now we chained one and we will do for round number nine seven single crochet in the next seven stitches and two single crochet in the next stitch so we will do this together for one time and we will meet at the end so here's one two three four seven single crochet now we will do two single crochet in the next stitch one two so for the round repeat you will do seven single crochet in the next seven stitches and two single crochet in the next stitch so pause the video and let's meet at the end of round number nine now i'm at the end of round number nine i i have done my last two single crochet in the same stitch now i'm gonna do a slip stitch into the chain one that we have made in the beginning which is this one slip stitch and that's it for round number uh, nine for round number 10 you're gonna chain one what you will do now you will do um, single crochet in each next eight stitches then two single crochet in the second stitch next stitch so one single crochet in the next eight stitches one two three four five sorry about that six seven and eight now two single crochet in the next stitch so for the round repeat what you will do is you're gonna do eight single crochet into the next eight and two single crochet in the into the next stitch pause the video and we will meet by the end of round number 10 all right now i'm done with round number 10 i did this slip stitch here and i chained one so for uh, for the next 10 rounds which is round from round 11 to round 20 you're gonna do one single crochet all the way across for 10 rounds so pause the video finish the 10 rounds and let's meet at the end so you will just do one single crochet all the way across until you finish 10 rounds so we will meet after this see you soon all right now i'm at the end of round 20 i'm gonna work my last single crochet here and i'm gonna join the round with a slip stitch into the first in the to the chain one that i made in the beginning now 
I'm gonna do a chain one and cut the yarn and fasten off. Now we will be joining the uh, uh, the other color, which I'm using the off white color. Okay, to join the color, uh, the other color to the yarn uh, to the bag. What we're gonna do is we will go to the last slip stitch we did here before we did the chain one and fasten off. So we will insert our hook here. What we will do, we will take, we will join the color with a slip stitch. Like we will take the yarn and go through and that's it. Uh, what you're gonna do, uh, we will do, we will work our, uh, our stitches over the extra yarn here so we hide it instead of sewing the yarn in the end so now after we joined the color we will do chain one now we chained one and we will do single crochet in the next 80 stitches which is single crochet all the way around pause the video and and continue doing your single crochet we will meet at the end of round 21 all right now i'm at the end of round 21 i have done my last single crochet now i'm gonna join the round with a slip stitch into the chain one space that chain one that i made earlier at the beginning of the round so i will insert my hook into the chain one yarn over and pull through and pull through now we have done round 21 for this color you will continue doing uh, rounds from round 22 till round 30 which is nine rows so now you will chain one you will do chain one and you will do the same from round 22 till round 30 pause the video and do your uh, rounds which is like just single crochet all the way around but with a different color do your st do your rounds and pause the video and we will meet at the end of round 30 all right now i'm at the end of round 30 i'm gonna do this uh, slip stitch into the first chain we did earlier at the beginning of the round and that's it i'm gonna fasten off By doing a slip stitch, uh, by doing a slip stitch, yeah. So I'm gonna take the uh, purple yarn. I'm gonna leave a little bit long end, three to four inches of uh, end. I'm gonna yarn over, uh, uh, insert the hook inside the last stitch we made, and pull the yarn like this. Now I'm gonna do chain one chain one that's it now we are secured for round 31 again we will do one single crochet all the way across the bag so i'm gonna take these two threads with me uh, while uh, going through so um, it will be sewed in the bag so single crochet all the way across the bag uh, pause the video and we will be Alright, now I'm done with round 31. At the end of round 31, I'm gonna do a slip stitch into the chain one that I made earlier. And that's it for round 31. Now for round 32 to round 37, you're gonna do the same. Single crochet all the way across. You're gonna start the round with chain one and single crochet all the way across. So one, 
pause the video and we will meet at the end of round number 37 now I'm at the end of round 37 I have completed doing rounds from 32 to 37 I'm gonna end the round by doing a slip, a slip stitch into the first chain that we made earlier and that's it now for round 38 what we're gonna do is we will do the eyelet of the backpack which is this part this part that holds the cord um, so to do the eyelet the eyelet round we will chain three one two and three then we will skip the first two single crochet made earlier we will skip these two single crochet and we will do single crochet in the next three so skip these two and we will do in the next three one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet that's the beginning of uh, the eyelet round now I'm gonna show you what you will repeat in the next for for the next 14 times around the bag now what you will do is you will chain two skip two single crochet and single crochet in the next three one two and three i'm gonna do with you one more time so chain two one two and skip two skip two stitches and then uh, and then do single crochet in the next three stitches one two and three so I'm gonna leave you to I'm gonna leave you now pause the video continue doing this chain two skip two and single crochet in the next three we will meet at the end of round 38 right now i'm at the end of round 38 i'm gonna do i'm gonna skip two and do my last three single crochets one two three and i'm gonna join the uh join the round with the uh, with the first chain we made here with the slip stitch and that's it for round number 38 for round number 39 you're gonna chain one then you will do single crochet uh, all the way across and two single crochet in the chain two space so Now we have next what we have the first sing, two, chain two space we will do two single crochet one um, sorry I forgot uh, uh, yeah I did chain one so I chained one then two single crochet in the chain two space then single crochet all the way across one two the three now we will do two single crochet and chain two one two so I'll leave you to it continue doing your work pause the video and we will meet at the end of round 39 now I have done doing uh, round 39 uh, I have joined the round with a slip stitch into the chain one space that we made earlier now we will do a chain one now what you're gonna do is you will do again single crochet all the way across the bag for round 40 41 and 42 for three rounds you will do single crochet all the way across we will meet at the end of the round 
all right now i'm at the end of row 42 i'm gonna work my last few single crochet and i will do a slip stitch into the the first the chain one we made in the beginning and we will fasten off so now we have finished from the back the back part you can see how it looks like now okay so now we will do we will be working on the cord so let's get started okay so now we will do the cord for our backpack uh, to do the cord you have to reduce the main color you have used in the backpack which i'm now using the purple one so to begin with you will do a slip knot and you will chain three so one two and three now we have three chains what you will do it, it's a little bit tricky it's easy but you have to focus and you have to keep control on your loops so to to uh, to begin with the cord you will go into insert your hook into the second uh, chain from the hook and pull up a loop don't do anything with the loop now you're gonna insert your hook again inside the uh, the first uh, chain we made in the beginning and pull up now we have three loops on our hook now the tricky thing is what you're gonna do is you will take two loops and you will hold them with your thumbs and uh, with your fingers what you're gonna do now you will yarn over and go through the first loop go into the second loop yarn over and go through the second loop now we have the third loop remaining yarn over and go through so now we have made our first set of the our first row of the cord i will do it again with you now we have three loops on our in our hook you're gonna take off your hook be careful and hold the loops yarn over and pull the loop here now you will take the second Step until you reach until the cord reach like uh, uh, around 60 inches or 152 centimeters so uh, measure it with your measuring tape um, I will do it again for you two couple times so you can like you can do it again correctly you will take off the hook uh, loop uh, the hook from the loops you will hold the loops yarn over and, and pull through the first loop then you will release the second loop you will insert your hook yarn over and pull through and then the, you will take the third loop if it got tight you can use your finger to insert your hook and yarn over and pull through so again i will do it again with you around 60 inches long or 152.3 inches uh, um, now I'm gonna show you how to fasten off your cord 
and you will just have to yarn over and pull through all loops and chain one to lock to lock the cord and we will cut the cord So that's our cord for the back. We will meet now. Now we will assemble our uh, our backpack. So stay tuned. Now using a a big uh, yarning needle, I'm going to sew in all these ends that we have uh, uh, made earlier while doing the bag. So I'm gonna fast forward the, this process. So you do the same with me. Now I have done uh, sewing in all these all the ends. Now my my backpack is so clean and, and, and tidy what we're gonna do now is we will weave in our cord into the eyelet that we made earlier how to weave in i'm gonna teach you uh you can see this invisible line that made while we are doing the round make it as your guide you will go direct to the eyelet nearby uh, on the right side uh, of uh, of this line made you will insert your cord from here and you will just weave it in until you reach the end of uh, until you reach the other end so you go Now I have finished weaving in the cord and I have uh, um, uh, I have like equalized the length the length of the cords. Now what we're gonna do you have to mark the middle of the bag for like an approximate. Um, I think we will go uh, we will go right here. You wanna insert the cords. Uh, below uh, uh, seven or six stitches seven or six rounds below the white color and you will insert your first cord here in, in one opening in one in between the stitches now we will do the same to the other cord but in between in a, in a, inside another stitch like maybe here I have now inserted both ends of the cord Pulling the string, um, yeah. I think this will be perfect. This length will be perfect. So I'm gonna invert. I'm gonna do this now. What we what we're gonna do is we will tie these cords together so it will be secured and it can carry heavy weights. And it will not it won't open like tight one two three times until you feel it's secured I think now it's now it's okay yeah so yeah if you pull it it won't open so that's it for today's tutorial uh, I hope you enjoyed doing this beautiful backpack with me 
and uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and yeah i'm doing a giveaway for the first 1000 subscriber to my channel so uh, subscribe to my channel and fill out the link down below in the description so i can get your email and i will send you the free pattern of this